Hey Buff Nation, Lucas Kinsey, voice of Buffalo football, bringing you some insight here with West Texas A&M, just wrapping up its spring practices, including the annual spring game held last Friday afternoon. So many new and exciting things on the horizon for this program, starting with the ongoing construction of brand new Buffalo Stadium, where WT will host Azusa Pacific in the season opener on September 7th. Cannot wait. The finished product is going to look amazing there's no doubt about that but what i'm looking forward to most is the game day atmosphere it's hard to describe right now but trust me on september 7th just before kickoff just take a look around the stadium and you'll know exactly what i'm talking about back to football talk head coach hunter hughes he's entering his third season with wt and he's got two new coordinators on the staff Jake Brown takes over as the new offensive coordinator. He comes to WT from TCU. And on the other side of the football, Joe Morris is the new defensive coordinator. He joins West Texas A&M after spending the last six seasons at Fort Lewis College. West Texas A&M made nice improvements in 2018. They finished six and five, but the best news was that WT lost only 10 seniors. They bring back a host of talent, so let's look at the offense first and start with the position that I feel, if healthy, could be the strongest and deepest on this entire roster. That's the running back spot. But fans remember the lethal combination of Duke Carter IV and Logan Vallow, who both suffered season-ending injuries, but they'll both be back in 2019. Vallow played only three games before he was sidelined, but was extremely explosive at the start of the year. And also Duke Carter IV rushed for a team-high 818 yards, eight touchdowns. All he did was eat, eat, eat. Duke was named second team all Lone Star Conference, and WT also returns junior running back Brandon Blair. Buff fans remember him, the hero of the Kingsville game, last game at Kimbrough Stadium, where he ran for 182 yards and had three touchdowns. Also, another name to look out for at the running back spot is Prince Ugwa, a 5'9", 195-pound transfer from University of North Texas. This kid looked outstanding in the spring game, a good combination of speed and power. All right, we cannot talk about the offense without mentioning the quarterback spot. Obviously, a pretty important position. The Buffs have four players competing for the starting role in returners Justin Hotling, Mitch Hood, Davin Lemon Rodriguez, and then Texas Tech transfer Nick Gerber. All four players have been working very hard, making good strides, no doubt about that. But my eyes tell me that the leader going into fall camp is the ex-Red Raider, Nick Gerber. Gerber, he's only six feet one inches tall, but has great arm strength. He's confident in and out of the pocket. And really one of the things I was most impressed watching him in the spring is his playmaking ability and also that he seems to be earning the trust of his teammates so far. So if it is Gerber at quarterback, who will he be throwing the ball to next season? The wide receiver tight end group could be maybe the most underrated group on this team. Well, first of all, you have to mention the hybrid. Yes, Jordan Johnson. Is he a tight end? Is he a fullback? Is he a wide receiver? Or maybe he's even a quarterback, who knows? But what I do know is that the six foot one, 240 pound senior is a guy that can cause problems for defenses. Johnson was voted by his teammates this spring as the Charlie Martin most outstanding teammate. Playing fullback the last two seasons, Johnson has 33 catches and three touchdowns. Now the wide receivers, they're not overly big, but they are extremely fast. Senior Samaje Mitchell, he returns for the Buffs after leading the team with 34 receptions and 400 yards. WT also returns Peyton Gonzalez. He had a great junior campaign last year. PJ Leontz returns for his senior season. And then don't forget about the talented sophomores. Jamal Hamilton, one of those, he caught 19 passes and had a touchdown last year. He's back. And then also a guy I'm excited about is Tyler Gray. He's a former running back from Brock High School. He converted over to wide receiver, had a very good spring practice, looked sharp. He's explosive, has good hands, and he knows what to do after he catches the football. Last but perhaps most important to the success of the Buffalo offense is the offensive line. WT returns Parker Hanna, LaSalle Smith, Tucker Kiesel, and Sawyer Ulmer up front. An offensive line coach, Cooper Bassett, he's one of the best. He does a great job teaching the position, and he's looking for a few guys to step up with what Buff fans are expecting to be some talented running backs behind those offensive linemen looking for some big holes to run through. 
Look for good things from redshirt freshman Josh Campbell, 6'4", over 300 pounds. Also two transfers, Alex Ederson, he's a transfer from Georgetown University, and Tristan Close, 6'7", 340 pounds. He's a tackle that transferred from Southwestern Oklahoma State. And remember, they also have uh, several incoming freshmen that are going to be big, and they're gonna be competing for some jobs. So much more depth up front for WT this season. Best thing about that offensive line. Well, switching sides of the football, let's look at the Buff defense. They bring back some serious difference makers led by sophomore defensive back Tobias Harris, who was the Lone Star Conference Freshman of the Year after snagging seven interceptions and two returned for touchdowns. He also collected 48 tackles. Harris was very dynamic as a return man, both punt return and kick return, and he's working hard to make sure that his sophomore season is even better than what we saw in his freshman campaign. Jared Johnson, he will be the key defensive lineman up front for the Buffaloes. Last season, Johnson led the team with 12 and a half tackles for loss. And this is a position though, that needs some depth. Sophomore Xavier Era, X-Man, he returns after seeing a lot of action in his freshman year. WT did bring in a couple of guys. One of those is Hugh Anthony. He's a six foot one, 230 pound transfer from San Diego Mesa. Where last season he had 49 tackles, six sacks and two interceptions. Also watch out for two players who made position changes in the spring. One of those is junior Marcus Braswell. He moves from the linebacker spot and is a strong player. He was named most improved in the spring. Also McGregor Hara, Big Mac, transfers over from blocking fullback to putting his hand in the dirt. And the junior from Brock is loving that physical style up front in the defensive line spot. Linebackers on this squad, as we move over and talk about the linebackers, they are probably the strength of this defense. There's a lot of depth here. Let's start with the returner, uh, junior linebacker, Eric Collins. He was a second team all LSC performer in 2018 with 77 tackles, three sacks and two forced fumbles. Chris Thomas, another name at the linebacker spot, who in my opinion, go back to last season in his freshman year, he should have received all Lone Star Conference honors after leading the team with 104 tackles. Chris will be back. He will also be joined by senior Frank the Tank Honang. Frank had 67 tackles last year, and we're still not done with the linebackers. Remember Joseph Barron, he had a great freshman season last year with 65 tackles. He returns, and then also returning, and this one brings a smile to your face. He had a devastating preseason injury last year, but Hayden Dennis will be back for the Buffs this year. Six foot two, over 220 pounds. He is extremely athletic, a leader, a vocal leader for this defense. And rounding out this defensive breakdown, let's talk about the secondary. The secondary will feature returning starter at cornerback, Kimon Davis. Obviously, I already talked about Tobias Harris, but Kimon Davis is a guy, a junior from Carrollton. He was the fifth leading tackler for WT last season, also had six pass breakups. Senior Chas Slatinski will be back as well in 2019 after sitting out last year due to an injury. Slatinski, he's got 15 career starts under his belt and he provides toughness and leadership to this defense. Now, two newcomers who have impressed coaches in the spring in the secondary. One is Mike Jones, a 5'10", 185 pound defensive back, a transfer from Dixie State. And then also Jumonte Lewis, man, this guy looks good. A transfer from Tyler Junior College both of these players are athletic, and we saw this in the spring practices. They will both come up and deliver some big hits. One of my favorite special teams players, a guy that you cannot forget about, and that's sophomore Ayrton Payne. He will be back after a stellar freshman season, especially in the special teams department where he blocked a punt, also returned two punts for touchdowns. So just four months until we kick off against Azusa Pacific, hard to believe, Still a lot of hard work ahead for Hunter Hughes and the Buffaloes to get ready for 2019. I'll tell you what, I like the competition and the talent that was on display in the spring practices. And if this team will grind in the off season and can stay healthy, don't be surprised to see West Texas A&M in the playoff hunt next season.